So today I'm testing out my new camera and plus I'm also going to be taking you through what is on my vanity um, and every other little detail that goes with it. Okay, so towards this side I have all of my acrylic drawers and then some acrylic bits on the top and then over here I have my brushes, my candle and my flowers. So I'm going to start over this side first. So I have my makeup brushes here over in these like clear looking pots. Um, I have two of these at the front and then I also have some heart ones at the back here. First I have my Yankee candle on my dressing table and this is the snowflake cookie. This has been just amazing over Christmas. It's the most gorgeous scented candle and I've used up quite a bit. So you guys can forgive me because I did forget to wash my brushes uh, before this video. Um, so just excuse that, if it does bother you then obviously don't watch this video. But anyway, in the first pot here I have my glass round pots and these were from Tiger. They have grouped up my makeup brushes in here according to their collection. So these are just from a UK um, eBay store. You can get these pretty much around the world. You get five of the big ones and then you also get some small ones. I like using this one for my MAC paint pot because it just applies the product so evenly and just so nice. I have my Real Techniques brushes again in a same pot like this and in here I have part of the core collection, um, some of Sam and Nick's picks. This one here is probably my favourite. This, this is the Duo Fibre Face Brush I think. I just have my buffing brush and then just a few other in bits in there. So at the back of those brushes I just have these in these really pretty pots. These were from b and I have my face brushes here um, so some real techniques dupes. Um, I have this stippling brush from Wilkinson's which is absolutely beautiful it's to die for then the next pot is basically for my powder brushes um things like that this is a big pot for me this is like huge and in the very last pot the purple pot this is kind of mumbo jumbo there's a lot of eye brushes in here okay so now moving on to my acrylic storage all of these drawers are from muji um i will link my blog post below which will allow you the access to the link of each one but on the left side, larger stacked ones, I have five of the two wide drawers. The one on the top being the flip top lid one. And to the side I have four of the three drawers, which are the smaller drawers. And then on top of those small drawers I have a acrylic holder for your lipsticks. Okay, so in the first drawer, um, I usually keep my eyeshadows in these compartments. So the first drawer I have some pinky based eyeshadows. So I have this one here from ALF which is called Wine Tour. This is really nice. It's a really nice shimmer color. I also have a few e.l.f. baked eyeshadows in Enchanted and Pixie. These are my favourite shadows ever. Um, these are backup ones because I do already have some. A few backups there. I have a Too Faced Glitter Glaze and that's the gold version I think. Because these compartments are very tiny I can't really fit in everything that I need in here um, but they're just great to just group them up especially if you have a small collection of mono eyeshadows. So the next drawer down I have some darks and then I also have some golds in here, nothing too precise. So I have this BYS palette here, very interesting. I have another e.l.f. mineral pressed eyeshadow and this one is in the shade of Heartbreaker I think. And I have at the back a few MUA shadows here, this one's particularly my favourite and this is shade 29 pearl. And then probably my favourite product in this drawer is the Urban Decay Moon Dust. I don't know if you can see that too great, uh, but this is Zodiac and this has the most beautiful colour. So my next drawer down, again, nothing particularly too exciting. I just have some warmer tone colours in here, uh, primarily pinks and purples. This is one here from Makeup Revolution and this is Purple Heaven. Yeah, a few nice purples in the back there and then I also have this MUA Baked Trio. Because I have this MUA Eyeshadow Trio in the shade of Innocence and this shade here the darker brown colour is meant to be a dupe for Max Blue Brown Pigment, um, although it's nothing absolutely like it at all. Um, I am going to be doing a MAC dupe video, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Next I have one of my most colourful drawers ever, and then here I have, <coughs> sorry my voice keeps going, I have my MAC uh, eyeshadow in Juxt here. I also have a MAC Blue Candy, um, this 17 shadow from 17 obviously. Um, some e.l.f. line in there, some Rimmel, some Revlon, again some more MUA and a shade for Makeup Revolution which is in the shade of Acid but that actually did break on me and I'm thinking of turning that one into just a pigment. So then last but not least, this is probably the most organised drawer out of all of them I think. Um, I just have like some 
nice goldy tones in here. Shadow here um, from Make It Revolution, which is called Just Me. I have another one here called Promised Land, and this is a really gorgeous, like, nice highlighty colour. And then, last but not least, Mountains of Gold from Makeup Revolution, if I can get it out. And that's what that one looks like. And as you can see from this, like, little ridged bit here, it's very, very creamy. Okay, so in the next drawer, I have my primers. So here I have the NYX Shine Killer, which is fantastic. L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream, which is a dupe for the professional here. Um, some Rimmel Stay Matte and just a few Benefit primers in there. They fit nice and snug just there. In my next drawer, I have my pigments, which I don't have that many of, um, but I have some Makeup Revolution ones here, some Barry M Dazzle Dusts, a 17 one, and I've also picked these up. I also have some ALF Smudge Pots, which I've recently picked up. Um, these are from the Essential range, I think it is. And this here is in the shade of Brownie Points. And these are basically like MAC Paint Pots and the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pots. Um, yes, yeah, so these are beautiful and I can't wait to use these in a tutorial. I also have Hit the Town, which is a really nice silvery color. Uh, perfect if you're creating a very cool toned smoky eye look. And then last but not least, I have Cruise and Chic, which is kind of a very subtle uh, gold color, um, which I have used already. And this is beautiful. In the next drawer I keep my lip liners because they're very compact and they literally just fit. So I have a whole bunch of nudes, pinks, browns, reds in here. Um, and at the back I have my MUA lip lacquers I think they're called. Um, I keep them in there because I don't use them that much. So my next drawer pretty much has the same format. These are just all my eye pencils with a few liquid liners in here that don't fit in my other drawer. So I have a few number 7 ones, some Barry M ones, and some MUA ones. Next drawer down I keep my mascaras. I do have a few more mascaras that are actually on my display unit. Uh, but these are ones that I just grab for really quick. So I have a lot of collection, um, Miss Sporty MUA. And I've also picked this one up from Gosh Cosmetics, which is called the Boombastic. This wand is just like crazy and it gives you the most full lashes as well. And last but not least I have my liquid liner slash brow drawer. Um, so I have a brow palette here which I tend to use for my eyeshadow as well, so it's multi-purpose. Um, this drawer does not stay clean whatsoever. I have actually three of the e.l.f. Precision uh, liquid liners because they're just so, so good. On top of those drawers, um, I do have a lipstick holder, um, which is kind of just like, you can get these pretty much anywhere. They're curved here and then more slightly curved at the back. So I'm going to start with the front. Here I keep mainly my MAC lipsticks and my higher end lipsticks, simply because it's just nice to see my collection growing. And plus I tend to reach for these a lot more than I do any other colours. I'm actually going to be filming my MAC collection video pretty soon, um, so I'll show you some swatches of the MAC lipsticks um, on my hand and also on my lips. So far I have Blankety, Twig, Dark Side Diva, Spirit Fabby, Ruby Wheel, Snob, Faux and Velvet Teddy. And I also have this Elamasca lipstick here in the shade of Buff. It's a grey toned brown, if that makes sense. Connection lip glosses, I don't tend to use for much, but these are so, so pigmented, you would not believe. On the side here, I have a pigment from MAC in Neo Orange. And then joining that, I have another MAC pigment here in the shade of Blue Brown. I also have my MAC Fix Plus and my MAC Brush Cleaner here. Then at the back, I have a Sleek Gloss Me lipstick in the shade of Hawaii Honey. This is going to be perfect for summer. And I also have another mascara up here, which is the Full Fat Lash Mascara from Sleek. That's what it's looked like. It's very sleek packaging. I don't know if I can you can see this very well, but it kind of has like brushes that ha looks like it has a dingleberry on the bottom of it. It's fantastic and it's really good for getting the bottom lashes as well and it just creates so much thickness to your lashes it naturally creates like a feline look so now over here I have a bunch of other lip glosses that again I don't tend to use. I have some fixing sprays here, so the NYX um, Dewy Spray, the ALF Makeup Mist and Set. I also have some beauty blenders at the back there and the MAC Duo Sided Sponge which is freaking amazing. 
this side here is fantastic for applying and dry powder. It is so good. Okay, so moving on to my larger drawers. On the top of here, I do keep a few items. Mainly just things that, you know, don't really fit in these big tubs here. The first thing I have is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade. This is in the shade of Sugar and Spice. And it basically just looks like this. You have Then under that, I have my Urban Decay Full Frontal Lipstick Stash here, which don't fit in any of these drawers. I also have the e.l.f. High Definition powder in corrective yellow then I have a few nail polishes over there okay so this first drawer here lifts up like this um, I'm just gonna take these off so this lid here lifts up literally just like this so it's fantastic to fit your eyeshadow palettes in here I have my your lash adhesive here um, I also have the sleek eye divine storm palette with my urban decay naked 3 palette there um, I also have the sleek highlighting palette in precious metals there and I also have an eye and cheek palette again from sleek as well and that's pretty much what it looks like there very handy to travel with and those have that starry eyed palette from Barry M just there. I see in my next drawer down I have some eyeshadow palettes and also some of my MAC products. Um, I also have the Gosh 9 Shade Shadow Collection in To Enjoy in New York and these are fantastic autumn shades which look just like this. They're really creamy, really pigmented. These are a must. I also have two of the MUA um, eyeshadow palettes in Glitter Ball and Undress. I also have the NYX Wicked Dreams palette, which is a little bit dirty on the top, excuse me. And that's what they look like. There's a whole array of beautiful, warm and cool toned shades in here. Then I also have a Alf Baked Eyeshadow in Burnt Plum, which I am loving. I am adding to my collection of the baked products. I also have a replacement eyeshadow over here from Alf called Sunset. I have my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I also have a MAC Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel in. Then I have a mixture of products. Um, I have my L'Oreal Lumi Magic. Where the. Oh, okay. My L'Oreal Lumi Magic base here, which I use all the time. I also have three of the collection, what are these? Glam Crystals. Um, this one here is in the shade of Hustle. The blue one's Lay Freak. And the more red one is Dancing Queen. These are fantastic and I've used these so much over the Christmas holidays. I also have two testers of the number 7 Lash Mascaras. I also have two of the number 7 High Shine Lip Crayons. I also have Sleek's Brow Kit over there. And I also have my Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows in Flawless and Eyes Like Angels. And that's just an example of what they look like. Um, there's just, I can't remember, I think there's 32 shadows in here. I could be wrong. But this is basically what it looks like. It is a fantastic product and I think they're only £8. Okay, so the next drawer is mainly for my blushes. Two e.l.f. blushes here. Um, this one here is in the shade of... I don't actually remember what the shade is of that one. And I also have Got A Glow, which is a new purchase from e.l.f. And that's been compared to the NARS's Alpatross. I think I could be very wrong though. I have some Rimmel Wake Me Up Instant Radiant Shimmer Touches, which I hate. Um, a few Avon ones there, a natural collection in Peach Marble. Um, I have some underneath here, I have like some MUA single blushes. Makeup blush there in rose gold. The ALF HD blushes there which are a pain in the butt to get off. They are so pigmented but the blush by 3 blush palette in the shade of Lemonade. And I have to show you this because these are such gorgeous colours. That's what they look like. You have a cream blush in here and then you also have the glittery colours here. So the next drawer is my, my first foundation drawer. So in here I tend to keep my more used foundations. I th so I have my MAC Studio Sculpt, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid, my Chanel Perfection Lumiere, uh, Perfection Long Wearing Foundation, that was a mouthful. I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I use all the time. This is like my favourite foundation ever. And then to go alongside that one, I have my L'Oreal True Match. Then I have uh, the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation, which is really good. 
Um, and then I've also purchased this from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. My next drawer is my other foundation drawer, which is a bit of a mess and ones that I don't really tend to go for. On the drawer down from this, I have my concealers. I am a concealer hoarder. I am absolutely mad. Um, so I have some e.l.f. Corrective concealers here. The Makeup Pro Base um, ones here, which I'm not really a great fan of. They're very oily. Uh, my mouth, e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer, my MAC Pro Longwear, a lot of Rimmel, a lot of Last Imperfection from Collection, Maybelline, MUA, it's all in here. And then my next drawer is probably one of my favourites. Um, in here I have my powders, so I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, my Essence All About Matte Powder here, which has broke, so I'm having to go study with that one. And the MAC Maker from Maybelline, I drop powders all the time. I've also recently picked up this MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder um, and this is fantastic. I'm really loving this one. Next up down is my bronzing powders. So I have here my bronzing powder from MAC in Matte Bronze. Number 7 one in Makeup Revolution one here. Some ALF. I also have the, um, the ALF Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream in St. Lucia. My favourite everyday bronzer from NYC which is in the shade of... Just in the shade of sunny. This are my highlighters and my shimmers and my illuminating bases and whatever else. So the first one I have here is from Makeup Revolution. And this is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade of Golden Lights. This is what these golden highlighters look like. Sorry about the white one being quite dirty. Um, but these are the most gorgeous highlighters ever. I'll just give you a swatch. These are just insane for eyeshadow, obviously for a highlighter. Um, these are just beautiful. I, and I also use this um, Urban Decay The Naked Illuminated Face Powder. This is what the Urban Decay Illuminator looks like. It's really gorgeous. It's perfect for your body and it's perfect for the face. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it hasn't been too long for you, but I was asked so many questions about my storage and how I store things, what I've got in my storage, so I hope this has helped you a lot. Um, Happy New Year to you all. Have a lovely start to your new year and I shall see you soon.